This is a mantle jump. It is a zipline super jump out of a cancelled mantle and looks kinda ridiculous. Mantle jumps were discovered by the villain side, who also discovered Jump Fatigue War Bounces. The portal cancel super glide is the guy behind this zipline turnaround I'm gonna show later in this video and in general is one of the most important figures in the Apex movement scene that the general public has no idea of. He does have a YouTube channel which features one of the best and most comprehensive movement guides out there which I'm gonna link to in the description. But he sort of stopped uploading and is only really active in our Apex Rollout subreddit whenever he finds something new. So even though he's not big into content creation, I wanted to shine a massive spotlight onto his invaluable contributions to the movement in Apex. Usually you cannot super jump out of a zipline while being in the air or already riding it. You will only get a normal zipline jump. You need ground contact for a zipline super jump to work. That's why mantle jumping is so interesting. Because the mantle counts as ground contact and cancelling it with a crouch keeps you in that ground contact state just long enough to enable a super jump. Start the training by just riding up the zipline and jumping off. No other inputs. You have to get the timing right to land in the mantle without a forward input. From there you cancel the mantle with a crouch. This will make you drop again. And then flick downwards and super jump. Interact jump jump on controller or interact scroll wheel jump for mouse and keyboard. You can also flick upwards but there the chance is bigger that you'll hit your head on the ceiling. So. Jump, hold crouch, land in mantle, the crouch cancels the mantle, flick down, super jump. To me mantle jumping seems harder to do than elite jumping, but easier than tap jumping. Videos for both of these are also in the description. It took me about 15 minutes of practice to even land my first mantle jump and another 40 minutes to land one in three. It will likely take me some days on and off practice to really form the habit and get mental jumps consistent. Some tips. It helped me to deliberately think of the mantle cancel and the flick to super jump as two separate actions. The timing between them is still very precise and quick, but getting convoluted in your head and trying to flick while or even before the mantle cancel has even finished will only lead to frustration. I can also not get a mantle jump to work of a long hanging mantle. I would expect it to theoretically work. So my theory is that mentally I'm just struggling to get the timing between crouch and flick correct when hanging stationary. You have to get really close to the top edge. If you're too far down it will not work, no matter how precise your flick is. So spend some time just jumping off and landing in the mantle and get the feeling for jumping off just before you would actually make it to the top platform. The best way to train mantle jumps are the zipline buildings in Lava City, cause they are the same as in Capital, but very often completely empty. Or by downloading R5 Reloaded, the modded version of Apex, and train in an empty server by yourself, without the ring closing. There you can even set up inputs to teleport you back to the bottom of the zip shaft after every try. And even though the streamer zipline buildings are the most likely candidate for mantle jumping, it works wherever you can mantle a ledge near a zipline and have the headspace for a huge jump. If you start to get these normal zipline jumps, you know you're getting close to actually getting a super jump out of it. It works on all legends. Here's me doing it with Fartman, but it feels to me like it's easier on smaller legends. Maybe it's cause bigger legends also have the tendency to bump their heads on the ceiling, or I just have the most timing practice on Wraith. The quick flick in combination with having to precisely super jump makes me think that mantle jumping won't be possible on controller. But I've said the same about elite jumping and was also proven wrong. So let's see if some controller crackhead can actually pull it off. If you do, please post it in the Apex Rollout subreddit, which you should definitely join if you haven't so far. Once you are very consistent with mantle jumps, you can go for a tap strafe out of a mantle jump, which is even harder than the mantle jump itself. I have not managed to do that yet, but the villain side showed that it's definitely possible. Speaking of the villain side again, here's what he's calling an air dance. It doesn't look that spectacular, but is still fairly interesting. Once you are away from the ground and attached to a zipline, it's basically impossible to jump off and reattach to it. Something you would want to do to dodge bullets. Even tap strafing back onto it isn't an option. But 
if you jump off while holding backwards and then quickly turn while inputting a sideways and then forward input, you can reattach to it. I would assume that the sideways and forward inputs of the Air Dance use lurches, which would make it so it's not available on console, but should be doable on controller on PC with the correct setup. I would gladly be proven wrong though. There will be a video on another newish zipline technique on this channel later this week, so subscribe to not miss that. Bye!